Title Pro 7, the latest version of New Blue FX's brilliant title software. Not without controversy though, judging by the number of negative comments posted on various forums. My name is Jack Dale and this video aims to address two issues that seem to drive these negative comments. With Title Pro 7, New Blue FX implemented changes to the way title assets were stored. This meant that, unlike previous versions, all titles had to be saved individually and many users thought that this was a retrograde step. The second issue was the way the implementation of multi-title management had been changed. Best leave that to later on to describe. Both these issues left some users feeling angry, confused or both. Anyway, enough of the explanations, down to practicalities. Right, to start with, I'll just explain what you're seeing here. The main display is Title Pro 7, which is open on my right hand monitor. The display in the bottom left hand corner is part of the display of Vegas Pro. You'll see that in Vegas Pro, the Title Pro media has been pulled down onto the timeline and that has opened up Title Pro 7 on the right hand monitor. So what I'm going to do now is to pull another three titles down. And show you a little quirk of Title Pro 7. If I hover the mouse over the media generator, you'll see, well it's gone now, but you'll see that there are three titles there now, only two on a timeline. If I now pull that third one down onto the timeline, you'll see that the number of titles in the title list goes to four. Let go of the mouse and the fourth title disappears. Pull the next one down and we have five. Let go of the mouse and the fifth one's disappeared. Don't know why it does that, but just to make you aware that that is or appears to be perfectly normal. So what I'm going to do now is to close the Title Pro interface down on the screen because we don't need that anymore. Now once the title list had been populated with the titles on the Vegas Pro timeline, they need saving. They can either be saved now or at the end of the session, but they have to be saved individually. You remember in my introduction, I mentioned that people were commenting on various forums about having to do this they were getting quite angry. They didn't have to do this in Title Pro 6, so they thought it was a retrograde step. New Blue FX's argument is that if the title caching data was stored separate to the project file, this would make display on the timeline more efficient. And from my experience with Title Pro 7, that's correct. So what I'm going to do now is to save all these titles to a dedicated folder with unique names. I normally do this before I do any work on the titles, 
to make sure that they're all saved. So I've highlight the first title, go to File, Save As. Now there isn't a dedicated folder yet, so I'm going to create one and just call it Titles. And I will start saving each title. You can see that as I put the name in, the name on the title list changes to reflect that. OK, all those titles, those four titles have been saved now to that folder. And that is a one time operation. Doesn't need doing again because when I exit Title Pro 7 by clicking the green arrow down in the bottom right hand corner, any changes to those titles will be saved automatically. Now they're all saved. I'll just make some changes to each individual title. Firstly, we'll get rid of this subtitle element because I'm not really interested in having two elements there. And then I want to change the text. Double click, title one highlight title two double click title two highlight title three now i'm going to go against convention and just call this simple and title four I want to call complex. You'll see why in a short while. Make some other changes. I'll just move this to the top left hand corner. Move title two to the top right hand corner. Title three, bottom left hand corner. Title 4, bottom right hand corner. Let's make some further changes. Let's bring this down. Change the colour to red. Sorry, should have brought that over. Showing on the other screen. Highlight 2, title 2 and change that to green. Highlight title three, change that to yellow. And what have we got there? Got red, green, yellow, and title four, We'll change to blue or a purpley blue. OK, so each title now has a different colour and a different position. So they're all unique. They're all unshared. That means they don't share their design with any other title. 
So what I can do now is just display title one. Now that is red and it's in top left, left hand corner. Title two is green, top right hand corner. So if I share title two with title one's design, Title 2 should move over to the left and it should take on the same colour as Title 1. Click on the Design Sharing drop down arrow and select Title 1. So you can see that now that Title 2 and Title 1 share the same design. And you can see that titles that share the same design are highlighted. Now Title 3 and Title 4 we've got one marked complex and one marked simple. And I want to show you that the wrong way of sharing a design will lose you that particular design. So I've got now a complex design there and title three is a simple one. So if I've spent a long time designing that complex design, I do not want to make a mistake and share it with a simple design. Because if I do that, I will lose that complex design. The complex design will revert to the simple design. And if I just click on this, tit this title one and title two and look up at the edit function, you will see that there is no undo function. The action of sharing a design with another design cannot be undone. So just to show you that, we've got a simple design on Title 3, complex design on Title 4. If I share Title 4 with Title 3, there we go, I've lost the complex design. The complex design has taken on the design characteristics of Title 3 and I cannot undo. Now there is a way of preventing that mistake from happening. One is of course to pick the right drop down. If I wanted a, what I should have done Title 4 was the complex one, Title 3 was the simple one. What I should have done was shared Title 3. I can't do that now because they're both shared. And I can't get back so I can't show you. So we're just going to, you're just going to have to take my word for it that I should have shared Title 3 with Title 4. And that would have meant that Title 3 would have taken on the same design as Title 4. So you would have had two complex designs rather than two simple designs. Now the other way to avoid that is to save your complex design before you do any design sharing. And to do that we need the library pane up. I'll just move this out of the way and F4, press F4, that will bring up the library pane. It's just populating. There we go. It opens up, if nothing's selected on the screen, it will open up in the project templates section. Now what you can do here is 
to create a folder which is that one the folder name will be I'll just call it temporary say OK and that will uh, category of the same name exists already I've already created one here called temporary so we'll just leave it as it is but that's the way you do it and with the titles design selected I uh, just click this icon here which will save that title into belay that another mistake you have to select the temporary folder to save this to the temporary folder we click the icon again and call this I've already got one called title save so I'll just call this temp you would of course give it a meaningful name so you know to come back to it and that's it saved in the library so if everything fails and you lose that complex design while you're design sharing you can always get it back from the library now the design sharing aspect of Title Pro 7 has caused a great deal of confusion and frustration and you can see by what's happened just now that that's sort of justified but with a little bit of preparation a little bit, bit of thought and a little bit of common sense you can avoid those pitfalls I think that's about all for now so until the next tutorial I'll say goodbye